guys, I hope you're all well. So today we're going to do a, another knockout shadow text, but I'm going to do it slightly differently in terms of the text that we're using. So I've got the Bodoni MT Poster Compress, uh, which is, I presume I got it from Defont.com, and I like this one because it's skinny, so it's really tall, but it's not like huge in length so I really like that and I've also got Samantha font now if you don't know how to get all these flourishes then please do go and watch our Gliss video and it will show you exactly how you can do it now I've already gone in and welded this but I just really wanted to show you that it can be done with different fonts and this has got lots of lovely flourishes in it I've put some hearts in it and I really like this font. So the first thing I want to do is reduce my letter spacing down. And I want them to be as close to each other as they can be without actually touching. So with this one, I need to change it to print. And then I need to reduce it down because it obviously needs to be the size of print and cut. So I'm then going to go to make it and you can see it's come through as a print and cut so I'm then going to go to continue I'm going to send to printer and I'm going to ensure that my bleed is on so this is the bleed off and this is the bleed on and I'm then going to right click and save my picture I can then put this back to a cut image and I can then go to upload and upload image I can go to browse I can find my picture and I can then upload it so once my picture is uploaded I'm going to select it as a simple image type and I'm going to go to continue and I can then just go through and erase all the white pieces now there's quite a lot of little ones on this I'm not too overly concerned. I'm going to click what I can, so remove what is obvious, but the rest of it I'm not overly fussed about, but I want to try and get as much of it as I can. So once I'm happy with that, I'm going to grab my eraser and I'm just going to reduce it down and I can then go through and remove the box and I can then save it. Once I've saved it, I can then insert it into my canvas. Now, again, I'm going to do exactly the same as I did last time. I just wanted to show you that it can be done with different texts. I mean, that just looks an absolute mess. But I promise that when it's all put together, it actually looks great. So with this one, I want to arrange and I want to move it to front. And I can just go in then and really play with it and make sure that it's all as close to each other as it can be. So once I'm happy with that I'm going to highlight both of those and I'm just going to bring them over to my text and then I can work out how I want it to look and I might make that a little bit bigger. I'm then going to highlight all and I'm just going to go to align and I'm going to center it all and I can then remove my top text layer and this will then leave me with my slice so I can highlight and slice and I can then go in and remove my slice layer I'm then able to bring my text up and I can then just make sure that I'm completely happy with the positioning of it. Even though I'm using vinyl, because I'm putting them on the inside of the glass, I do have to remember that I need to mirror them. So I'm going to go to make it, and I'm just going to make sure that I press my mirror. You can see that I've weeded out my vinyl. So this red one is the stained glass in light red and it's by GM Crafts and you can find them at gmcrafts.co.uk and it comes in these really lovely rolls of 220 millimeters by 610 millimeters and this silver one is the frosted dark sparkle glass etch and these are both from gmcrafts.co.uk 
The other thing that I'm using from gmcrafts.co.uk is this fantastic guided transfer tape. Now I absolutely love this. I love their clear transfer tape as well, I use it all the time, but this is great. Now the difference between this and other transfer tapes is that there's no backing on it. So you literally just take it from its roll and then place it on your item. However, it's still reusable. So I've got the roll here and if I want to save it, I can just put it back on the roll and then take it off. And you can see the roll here and all I do is just take off the pieces that I want. So I am able to reuse this transfer tape, which again, I love having reusable transfer tape. It's absolutely fantastic. So the great thing about guided transfer tape is you're able to use the edges and you can then just place it down and you can then use the guides on your transfer tape to help you to place your vinyl onto your item. And as I say, it's completely reusable. And you're going to transfer it exactly the same way we always do. So I'm going to scrape from the front and then I'm going to scrape on the back and then I'm going to peel back my vinyl backing. Now the reason I've chosen these two pieces of vinyl is because we're sticking it on the inside of our glass, we need to mirror our vinyl. So we want our vinyl to be the same colour on both sides. And there's a few vinyls that you can use to do this. So most matte and gloss vinyls such as 631, 651, 671, they will be the same on both sides. Etch effect vinyl such as this one will be the same colour on both sides because it's pretty transparent. And again, the stained glass, because it's a transparent vinyl, you get the same effect on both sides. And there are other vinyls that you can use as well. But I find that these are absolutely fantastic if you're mirroring vinyl to put it on the inside of glass. These are great vinyls to work with and they look super effective. So I've got my glass chopping board and I have already cleaned it with some rubbing alcohol just to make sure that any oil from my fingers have been taken off and that it's nice and clean. So I'm going to transfer my red piece first. Now when I put it onto the back of my glass, it's still not going to look right. But of course, when I turn it over, it will look exactly the way I want it to. I'm just going to go in and work out where I want it placed and I can then place it on my glass and I can then go in with my scraper and just adhere it to my glass. I can then pull back my transfer tape So I've got my transfer tape roll and I'm just going to place my transfer tape back around it and this will allow me to then reuse my transfer tape. So I'm just going to hover my sliced letters and just make sure that I'm happy with the placement and then once I am I can then just gently sit it down and I can then go in with my scraper and again, I can transfer my letters.
I'm then going to pull back my transfer tape 